Hi, I'm Ed Peck. Uh, I'm, my name's Ian Parry and I'm from the UK. Educationally, I have um, a well, GCSE A level, which are the standard sort of qualifications in the UK, and then I have a degree in uh, sports science uh, and management. I also have a personal training diploma, nutrition diploma, all the kind of things that you need to work highly in the fitness industry. Uh, I started up a clocking about 15 years ago, uh, something like that. Actually, because I, down, I initially was a gamer uh, and I wanted to make the frame rates faster. So I downloaded some benchmarks to check where my system was against other people and was like, oh my god, my system is not very good here. So I best improve. I'll try and improve to make my games faster because I was playing in, in a clan of gaming clan. So like, then I started overclocking. I'll maybe be the first person to reach 3,000 points on HW Bot is, is probably my greatest achievement and holding all the uh, VGA globals all at the same time, all the world records. Probably my two greatest achievements, but I've won quite a few competitions also, which I would regard live competitions where the pressure's on you in a short period of time, which I'd also regard as pretty high. So I'm doing a few things there, so it's hard to say really. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that's it's just become a lot more professional in the approach. Uh, in terms of, uh, there's, there's actually a lot more people involved, so therefore the competition uh, is higher. Uh, uh, the vendors are all really on board with it, so uh, the sponsorships and, and the opportunities from being good at it is better and obviously the knock-on effect of that is the standard is in constantly improving. Everyone's testing everything to try and get uh, the upper hand, all the tweaks, uh, people are spending hours and hours trying to get a few extra points because actually in a live competition this can mean prize money or indeed a career or so on and so on. Uh, uh, help the vendors with marketing, all this kind of stuff. So I think from the past where it was more uh, more of a hobby, now it's still a hobby, but, uh, but more, more and more people are doing it as a hobby, but also there's the professional level. You know, few people back in the day was in it at the professional level. Now, far more are in it. People are bringing out their own products, like Vince with his Kingpin Edition cards, myself with 8-pack edition graphics cards, PSUs, Roman with uh, his Dabar uh, LN2 containers, Vince with his LN2 containers, Nick with his motherboards, and so on and so on. There's a lot more people. Uh, and, and also, actually, overclockers are becoming more like famous, I think, in the public eye. Uh, the amount of people that have stopped us this week saying, oh, you're 8-pack or you're Dabar, which shows that you know, that overclocking's certainly been marketed better. Well, I think actually the, uh, it'll slowly increase to, to become similar to, to similar to how the eSports in gaming has, has improved, uh, has, well, not improved, but just grown, just grown. I think, I think that's how it will change, and I can, see, I can see it evolving as because more and more of the vendors, as you say, are taking it really seriously as a marketing tool. Massive companies like Intel, Kingston, Microsoft, ASUS, Gigabyte, all these very large and powerful companies are on board with the overclocking scene because they can see the potential for growth and they are therefore willing to invest time, money and resources in this, in this area and also they want their products you know, to be the, the product that's used by the famous overclockers and like the political, if you like, uh, like Formula One promoting, promoting the cars and I think uh, as such, then more, more money, sponsorship, and etc., etc., will come into it, just like the gaming scene has evolved. That's what I think. Uh, well, for someone who was just getting started, I'd just, you know, uh, tell them to concentrate on the basics of, of, uh, of reading, around, reading around the subject on many forums, testing things out really slowly on an air cooled system, uh, and just, just seeing what basic changes in the BIOS make a difference to their scores and then from there on you know doing some basic overclocking on air and maybe progressing to water and just really testing and getting a feel for the hardware that they've got and the platforms that they're running and, and how to how to make efficient scores that's how I you know comparing your system on the cooling that you've got against other people with the cooling that they've got and and, uh, and taking advice from people on forums uh, and manufacturers websites where they've got guides to how to overclock 
uh, or well-known overclocker sites, for example, like Roman's uh, website, go there. He's got guides for pretty much uh, all, all motherboards with, with the high-end vendors. So just take, take stuff from this to experience people and test yourself, see what, see what benchmarks you enjoy doing, which benchmarks you're not so bothered about. Uh, uh, and, and, and try and perfect those before you really try and move on to some really serious cooling. Uh, and obviously where that's where the serious uh, investment from yourself comes in. So test it, out at the, test it out at the basic level where you don't have to put much investment in yourselves if you really enjoy it and then progress from there if you really like the sport. Uh, uh, well I enjoy Taiwan, I generally enjoy Taiwan. Uh, the, the, I've been here many times with like vendors and for uh, overclocking events uh, like MOA and uh, you know benching at Gigabyte HQ, benching at ACC HQ, all this kind of thing. So I'm kind of I, I like I like Taiwan. The only thing I dislike about it actually is the Taiwanese food. It didn't really sit well with my with my uh, with my uh, eating patterns, if you like. But I but I do like Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, I do like it. It's very uh, bustly city. You can get anything you want here. Uh, very fast paced which is good fun for a short period of time, uh, which is what we're usually here for like a week or two weeks. Uh, Computex itself, I've, I generally enjoy too, yeah. I mean, what, what I do actually is about, uh, not just overclocking, but about developing products. So all the vendors are here that I wish to speak to about developing my own products. Uh, for example, like Superflower with the PSU or uh, Galax where we've been benching on there, Stand with the GPUs and uh, uh, Gigabyte, Asus, you know, all, all the major vendors are here so we can go around and uh, check out their new products, uh, see where we can help them with testing, uh, obviously get samples if they wish to give so that we can uh, do our own testing and so on and so on. So yeah, it's great for this because everyone's in one place at one time, you can see absolutely everyone you need to see about business ideas, uh, marketing, promotional stuff. Uh, get business cards and then make contact later so that you can follow up on all the different projects you, you're going to work on. So yeah, it's great for this.